just so you know, reminder, I grew up in Hollis, Queens. Mm -hmm. Jam Master J, the late Grandmaster J, he was best friends with my late brother. Okay. You know, my brother died in a car accident in 1992. We all know what happened to Jam Master J, God rest his souls. Run DMC, all them grew up in Hollis and stuff like that, so we see him all the time. LL was right down the block on Farmer's Boulevard, five minutes away, you know, five minutes away. LL was down there doing his thing. And I remember when LL would get into it with Kumo D and what have you, and you're looking at the game itself, and you you could tell, yeah, you could make a record. You could be in the studio. You could, make, you could make a record. You could make a Flyers record. Hell, you could make a Flyers album. But at some point in time back in the day, you had to have a battle. You had to show some skills. You know, I, I, remember, I remember when Cannabis, you know, got himself involved in the mix and LL had to come at him. I remember all of that, right? I don't know if that happens today. No. Does it? The elements, the, the, the elements somehow of getting, we getting away from the original elements mm -hmm. of our culture, which is beats, rhymes, right. you know, is... Battling is therapeutic for music. Right. I, it, like you said, it's been around since the beginning. Since the beginning? Since Wild Style. The, hey, right. The movie like, Wild like Style. Yo, bro, they how battling. about the movie Crush Crew? Crush Crew. Crush Crew. Crush Crew. Wait, wait. Uh, I, I mean, I'm like, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You got to battle that? So you, so a good word to sum up how the culture is a little too friendly right now. Mm. You know what I mean? It's a little bit too nice. Dudes, it's too much, too much nice guy stuff going on. Which you don't want to then get violent, but right. battling and competitiveness in music has always been a thing that let me get kept the down. culture let me going get Bro, I was just standing right over here last week, and I said, I don't know what y'all problem is, but I don't really got a problem with, with Kendrick Lamar, Drake, J. Cole, and all them getting into I said, they ain't talking violence. No. All they talking about, lyrically speaking, I, I think I'm better than you, and I'm going to come at you. And I'm like... That's what the game. Now I, I respect the J Cole when he came back. He said his heart wasn't into it. If that's not how you, that's how you felt. That's how you felt. I ain't knocking him in any way. But I had no problem if he came back at him as long as they weren't talking violence or anything like that. Look, I'm better than you, and I'm gonna show you that lyrically you ain't on this level. I have no problem with that. I think that's gonna elevate the quality of the hip hop game and return us to a time when cats like yourself, DMX, Jay Z, Biggie, to everybody, when you had to live on that. To show your to, to show what you were worth, you're saying the same thing. Am I right? Definitely, we need we need that. That's what keeps. That's what fuels the game. That's what that's what builds your brand. That's what that's what you live for. Mm. You know what I mean? As long as it stays clean, stays on wax, you're supposed right. to. That's what we need. So, how did you feel when you heard about Future, Kendrick Lamar, J Cole, Drake getting into it? When I woke moments? up. Is seeing Cole's response at uh, Dreamville. Dreamville. I was kind of distraught. I was confused. <laughs> I was. I didn't know it was because he. Right. He's one of the nicest right now. He, he and he always stands on that. He always says what he'll do. Mm. So this was a perfect. Everybody wanted it. Mm. I don't know what you know happened with his spirits or what happened, but. I think Drake's gonna come back and say something. Yeah, they say Drake's gonna come back and say something. They say they say Kendrick's coming back. He's gonna think Kendrick's gonna come back. Also, we need this. It's not. No, I mean it ain't get to a point where the people want it. It always. I was here to ask you that when you say the word need, why do we need it? We need it because the some of the young kids need to see that this is how the culture started. In. Just because you might have a couple of watches, a Ferrari, or, that don't that don't home your skills. You gotta at some point in this thing of ours, you have to get up there and show your skills. You can't hide behind diamonds. You can't hide behind the glitz and gold. You get up there and show what you got, and that's how the game's always been. For me, it might be not for you, but it might be controversial for me to say this. I agree with you one thousand percent. Don't I, I I think. Look, man, I got to see that you got skills. If, if, if you were asking me to listen to you instead of instead of Jada, instead of some of the cats that I could listen, I got to know that you got those skills. Not that you were accentuated by, uh, by, by a studio you know what I'm and the equipment that they bring to the table and all of this other shit that goes away from your lyrical skills. I got to be able to see that in order to believe in you. That's me. And I think that's what's missing for the game. That's just my purpose. It's a large percentage of 
colleagues and fans that really don't care about lyrics anymore. Yeah. That's what's hurting. Like, I don't what do you think lyrical. they care about? The beat? They still want to make a hit, but they don't. Yeah, they want the hook to be A1, the beat to be A1, and the, the verses just the fillers. And that, that's hurting the game also. Let me get back to, to, to J. Cole for a quick second. Why do you think he apologized? Do you think that he was? Fi- I, do you? I, I'm, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Here. I've been thinking I about you it since yesterday That's morning. What I'm, uh, is it possible that, dare I say, because J Cole a bad brother, is it possible that he was worried about what Kendrick Lamar was gonna come back with? That wasn't one of the options I came up. I don't okay. think he. I don't okay. think he was. I don't okay. think he's worried. But I don't think. I think he really felt something internally. Yeah, I don't I think he, I don't, his skills is, everything is intact that mm. should have engaged contact. Mm. I don't think, I don't, I really want to get next to him and sit down and really ask him genuinely mm. what happened, what did, mm. what, what, what went wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I really got to know, because right. I thought, I thought he was going to be the most, you know, Kendrick, he moves how he moves. Yep. Drake is very strategic mm-hmm. how he does stuff. Mm-hmm. But I thought on the lyrical, I thought Cole was going to be super active. Yeah. And he did come back, first one to respond, and then he he, he sees fire. So I don't know. What do you think Drake's going to do? Something that... Based, based off of what you see, knowing of knowing this business, knowing him... Based off of what you see, what you observe, what, what you think gonna he's going to do? He's going to drop. He's going to drop. He's going to come back. Smoke. Mm. He's going to do it when, there's, when it dies down, though. He's going gonna, he gonna to come like that when, there's, when, there's, when it dies down when it again. Gets a little, it again. Yeah, he's going to spark it out of nowhere. He's going he to shoot a missile out of nowhere when, it, when everybody's least suspected. Am I wrong in saying this? Just my opinion. I know... He's got some game to him. Drake is big time. We all know that. I find him to be somebody that's just as skilled business wise. From a standpoint, like when you said he gonna wait till it dies down and, yeah, then, and then here he comes, it's like doing it now, that's just joining the fray. He's not gonna be able to profit off of it the way that he will if he waits and then comes back and revitalizes it at some point in time down the line. I find Drake to be that kind of guy. Do you? Definitely. I don't know him. Right. But I think he's definitely a super great, dope business man. Mm-hmm. And I think he's going to do so strategic. He ain't gonna, he's not going to please. He's going to make it beneficial for him. He's not going to, just because everybody want him to respond, he's not going to respond right now. But he is going to respond. Mm-hmm. And I like that. You like that? And I think Kendrick already... Before he let that first one out, I think he already had some stuff planned of how he want to. Mm. And you saying you like that. That's what I love you want. it. That's, That's what you want. Music games needs that. because we, we need to be friends, but not too friendly. You could be friends, not too I, friendly, but... Off the, the court. Yeah. Anybody goes to dinner. But you, know, the but, court. But you, but you, but you know that got the game has changed in this respect. I'm talking about life. We ain't never been more sensitive than we are now. I mean, every damn thing for crying out loud. You shoot two for 20 and you mad at me because I said so. This would be pissing me off. I, I can't. I'm like, I ain't shoot two for 20. You ain't doing it in the damn bedroom or your basement. Shit, you done it in front of a million the world. people. Yeah. What you want me to do? That's what, that's what I saw. We live in a different age. Can you be friends but not too friendly in the rap game at this point, at this stage? You could be cordial. You can be cool, okay. But this is a this is a samurai game. This is made the this is built off bragging and skills, and you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. It can't if we if if I want your spot, why we why we keep drinking champagne and why we <laughs> yeah if I'm trying to kill you lyrically, mm-hmm. why we keep playing golf and doing all of this stuff together? So if this were basketball that we were talking about. Your favorite dude would have been Kobe. It would have been MJ. Yeah, my, it would be somebody like the Great Freak because they ain't trying to be friends. Greek Freak, Bernard King, Gate. Yes, you gotta come. You gotta be on that type of time. Like, 
Mm. And then after you on top, yeah, I want to be friends. <laughs> yeah, we got a picnic down. I thought already. <laughs> that's um, how I get you though. Yeah, that's how I get you though. Yeah, at least let's have some. Come on, I, we need that. I'm gonna remind you of something, Lloyd Banks. You remember that brother? Do you in 2022? He told Complex Magazine during in an article that the locks beef with G Unit was quote a beautiful time, and today's rappers aren't cutthroat enough. He's basically verifying saying the same thing. Saying the same you need thing that, that you, said. you need that you need that for the. This is a blood sport type of thing going on. Mm. You can't just keep switching at the ring around the ropes. Mm. And I'm not saying you. You don't got to get crazy, but every now and then, somebody got to, you know. Somebody trying to be on top. You got to yeah. let them know you that dude. That's a fact. And when you say that, you have to stand on it. And if somebody knocks the stick off your shoulder, you got to get ready to have that fight at 3 o'clock after school. When y'all were beefing, or I don't, if I'm wrong using that word, let me know. But when y'all were beefing with your unit back in the day, mm-hmm. um, you going at 50, 50 coming back at you, et cetera, et cetera. What was that like? Talk about what was that like and what instigated that at the time. It was beautiful. I think it came. It was beautiful. I, it was beautiful. Is that what you said? Yeah, it was <laughs> um, I think I already knew that was going to happen without it happening when Ja called me to get on the ja New Roo. York song. Yeah, when Ja Rule called me and BJ and them came, yo, Raspy, we need you to get on this song. Yeah. With, um, with Ja and Fat Joe, I said, "This is it. This is gonna, this is gonna cause." Because Fifty was getting that job. Yeah, he was. And so they had their whole thing. But I knew Ja, Rule. He was. I knew him for a long, long time. Right. I knew him before Fifty actually. Okay. And and the song was dope. You know what I mean? I didn't. I wasn't taking sides. I just liked the song. Mm-hmm. But Fifth was shooting at anybody that was next to Rule. <laughs> um. So. And he shot at you. Yeah, he said so. He came. Did it strategically though. His his next album came out and he had this song called Piggy Bank where he was talking yeah. about us. And um then that just opened the door for for us to do what we do. But it was like we said, you need that. As long as nobody get hurt, you need battle and, and you need people going at each other in music. It keeps the fire going, it keeps But is going. that how you felt at the time? Like in that moment. When he was coming at you and you were going to go back out at him. You know, you basically told him he was a celebrity because he got shot nine times. You know what I'm saying? Not because of his rap game. Fifth already said prior to uh, going against each other, all the other dope rappers come from Yakis anyway. So he already showed that he already messed with us. So with, mm-hmm. that was a, it was like a, a yeah. gray head. We, I knew kind of, he was, it was business with him he was it, it was he was using this in a business way it wasn't he didn't he didn't really know us to have a personal gripe with us so right. he was just doing what he was doing with work for him mm-hmm. and that's how we used it. Right. started doing shows though you know doing shows based it off the beef uh song charted the, the checkmate joint that i put out for him and charted on billboard um just all beneficial stuff, right? You know what I mean, and that's needed. I think it's needed. I think you're absolutely. I, I know you're absolutely one thousand percent right. I guess what I'm asking is, in the moment, did you know that? Or oh no no no, that's it, what I'm when saying. When you first hear it, when you first see, hear where it. we came from, is it's run to the studio. Right. When I yo, you didn't hear Fifty said something. Mm-hmm. You listen. And you call your engineer and get your ass to the <laughs> studio <laughs> immediately right. to retaliate mm. and. You know what I mean? I had to listen to it. And I, I knew it wasn't a personal thing, but it was going to be, it was going to go off. It was wow. never going to go beyond that. And I appreciate that. The reason I'm asking that question, because I think what people need to marvel at and appreciate is that in those times, remember, you feed an off of East Coast, West Coast rap. You, had, you know, just all the craziness are gone. Biggie and Tupac were gone. So you got all of that going on. And anytime anybody heard any kind of beef, the media, that covers it. They started that up. And so what happens is you're waiting. You're seeing cats go at one another lyrically, but then you turn around and like, all right, when's the extra shit going to come? Is it going to get violent or whatever? Because of the media. media. And, and sometimes that pressure from the media 
fed the audience, and then the audience trickled down to y'all and like, what you gonna do about this shit? Mm. He coming at you like this, what you gonna do about it? That's why I'm asking what I was asking about y'all and So the media definitely plays a big part in it. Um, entourage, you got people, you can be at the light. Yo, when you go, you go, you got to come back coming when, <laughs> so it gets crazy. Right. But you got to maintain your sanity and, and know how to handle it mm-hmm. with some kind of poise. You know what I mean? So it don't get crazy. Where your poise come from? Styles and Luch. You know what I mean? Having two brothers there, they're like, nah, I don't, you know, calm down. We going to handle this. So they thing. would do that. Yeah, we. Because you were ready to do something. Like, I, I'm imagining you were ready to do something. There's times when they were ready to do something. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about G-Unit now. Yeah, I'm no, about it's been times life. when we like, wanted, I wanted to jump out the window, and they like, hold on, no, 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 that's not, <laughs> right. sit your ass down, calm down. Woosa, right. 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 take it over and do it, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Are you that kind of personality? Do you do that for them as well? Yeah, I think we do it for each other. Mm-hmm. That's what, That's part of the thing that kept us together for so long, we, you know, we, we treated like a two, you know, if they say yay, I can't say nay, because two, two beats one. Right. Instead of me just thinking by myself and doing some dumb stuff. 